support and Chuko Kadama. Bless you. Thank you. All right, uh, we'll move ahead. And uh, the question should come now from uh, Brother Don. Brother Don, please uh, unmute yourself and bring your question. Yeah. Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, my PM, the guy that is doing it the best way ever. Uh, I just want to. Uh, a question really but not quite a question because there is no question i can ask to pm that really that he has already covered everything he's doing he's doing it by the template i want to help this brother now that asked question about nigeria and one thing please there is one thing people don't know if you go and use artificial intelligence ai or chat gpt ask about nigeria ask about biafra it will give you because he said you don't know about these things it will bring out everything you want it will even tell you about the man pm and the man our leader Mazi namdekano you're talking about evidence about killing people these people me standing here these people killed my father in barricade ladi so what you so if I rise up today and say I'm and defending my own people, you said why say we didn't take any violence to them. Please, they are the ones, you know, like our PM is saying, all checkpoints mounted everywhere. It's just a place you know that we are so uh, uh, we, we 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 make money. We are people who and they are just come to collect money and kill and they are using us as a business hub. PM, please keep it on. Just keep it on. I can I can say anything. It, the Israelites are our brothers, and we, our brothers they will be for eternity. Uh, one other thing is that these people they, they tell you kidnapping. I don't like people using arrest for our leader. Please, please, all those people that use it, take it away. When you, maybe slip of tongue. It's not arrest, they kidnapped him. And if you go into the Bible, he said, uh, Abraham begat, Abraham begat. The Nigerian government from uh, Buhari, from everyone, they begat all the kidnappers you've seen. They moving everywhere. That's their children. PM, I salute you. I'm standing up and I'm saluting you in Jesus' mighty name. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. All right, uh, please uh, grab the microphone, Marzi Benchuks Agubosim. Uh, thank you so much, Marzi uh, Ralph. Uh, thank you, Honorable PM. Thank you so much for the major wonderful tax you 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 take upon yourself in every ramification. Uh, PM, uh, my question is: uh, you you have promised Israel to. Uh, give give them uh, military aid. Uh, do you think it's not going to be a, a pressure to our BLA concerning the attacks uh, 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 beyond us uh, coming in the forthcoming of our restoration of uh, Biafra? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. 15,000 men to Israel is not going to affect us in any way. The only thing we need is more of the weapons to defend our land. That's all. Enough weapon is what we need. 20,000 men cannot even affect us as of today. So what we need is weapons for men we have enough and we can we can offer that help to Israel if they need ground forces up to 15 to 20 to 20,000. Thank you. Yeah, just quickly to, to join you know, because uh, why I'm saying this is uh, Mozart, you know, they, they know how to go and pick their own when it comes to, to in terms of danger. Yeah, the, the, so, the, war, the war today is not the uh, war of Mossad. This is not a war of liberation. It's a war, it's a confessional war that is going on. And like I said, at this point, it is still a technological war, which a drone is doing the job and they are firing rockets and all that. But when the time for ground troop, we are ready for that. And it is not going to affect us in any way. Thank you. Thank rather, you so much. Rather, rather, it will boost the Biafra defense and the Biafra liberation. You know what I mean. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, PM. Thank you, Mazi. It's a win-win for us. Our men are surplus. If I need a wire, 
Uwanguara, men, men in Jure everywhere. Men day, men day. Thank you very much. Okay, we move uh, Onye, Onye, Onye Chi Kamalu, Onye Chi Kamalu, please. Good, uh, good evening, on. everyone. Can you hear me? Go ahead, please. Good evening. Can you hear me, sir? Please go ahead. We can hear you. You have 60 seconds, please. Okay, okay. Um, good evening to the Prime Minister of the People's Republic. Good evening to his cabinet members. Good evening to the beer friends and lovers of freedom over the world. Um, my question is on, I want to lay emphasis on the restoration of the independent state of Biafra. I wanted to ask the prime minister on how the age of Biafra be calculated. Is it going to be based on when Ujuku declared Biafra or is it when it's going to be declared in Finland in Latin later this year? Or are we going to acknowledge that Biafra is over uh, a pre-colonial entity and maybe start counting from there, similar to like China or something. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's my first question. The Biafra is going to be all inclusive. It is beyond the Ojuku declaration at the same time before the pre-colonial era. So our declaration is going to base on the restoration of the 1967 declaration of Biafra and will maintain those uh, state and map okay and um um i wanted to get your reaction properly pm about the declaration of yoruba nation yesterday is it something the biafran should take seriously because i've seen you tweet about it and um some have even accused you of being influential in what happened yesterday so i wanted to get your reaction properly so, Thank so you. I, where the, where the, uh, have they accused me of being influential to what happened no like what there's something you posted yesterday where they okay. said uh, they are based on the opium of um, Simon okay, or something Simonet. like that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know, yeah, anyway, the thing is that uh, we are supporting anybody that someone courage to rise up against the uh, terrorist state of Nigeria. So it does not matter whether what you do is uh, right or wrong. So long as you call someone courage to fight for your people, we will, we will support it. So whatever happened yesterday, it may not be the right way to go about it. But yes, for the courage they summoned to make that demonstration and the awareness it has created, I like it. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. No. Okay. They were, they were, they were, thank you very much. All right, we move. Where's Wally Sister? Wally Sister, you have disappeared. Your hand was the next. All right, please uh, grab the mic, uh, our sister Helen Peters. You have 60 seconds, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Ah, good evening, my Prime Minister, His Excellency, Mazi Samolekba. I am here to appreciate you once again for what you are doing. I am a proud Isoko Biafra, and we stand by you, sir. God bless you, because you have come to rescue us. You rescue us from the shame that the zoo has brought upon us. You rescue us from the calamities that was about to befall us. I, may God continue to strengthen you. May God continue to empower you. May he continue to give you more wisdom and alliances for us to be able to be free totally from the killer headsmen who have invaded Nigeria just because Nigeria has expired. It has expired and everybody is aware of it like the 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 northern brother that was asking question just now uh if he's still around i would have loved to ask him a question why are they afraid of the collapse of nigeria why are they afraid of the division of nigeria would it be better for them to have their own if it is full and new country or whatsoever country they want to call it for them to remain in their own way and be worshiping their, their, the whatsoever they believe in their own way, instead of us killing ourselves in anything that mm -hmm. happened because of differences in religions, we continue to kill ourselves, we continue to, to, to uh, 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 suppress each other. At, at least it's good we go our own way. If that brother is to be around, I would have, I would have loved to ask him such a question that, is it good now the way his people are being killed in the north is it okay is the northern part of the nigeria the way the uh, the biafra is militarized is that the way the the northern part of nigeria that boko haram and every other terrorist organization is ravaging is that the way it is militarized 
the truth is, is, is bitter, but we have to stand by it and we have to say it. These are my questions. Once again, I really, really appreciate you, my PM. May God continue to empower you, strengthen you for this journey. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak with you. God bless you, sir. I say with you, Roboisoko State, we stand with you, we stand by you. We are Biafrans, and we stand by the state of Israel because that is whom we are. Thank you very much. I yield my mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I don't know if PM wants to respond to that. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, PM, thank you, sir. Uh, please, uh, I would like to see reactions from everyone here. I'll be flipping through. Uh, someone like Charisma, that, uh, you know, our PM wants you to get his attention. Ask those questions. You know, even if you are from house, outside, middle bed, those call one Nigeria list. You want to ask the PM a question. This is space. I will have over a thousand people here. Come up here. I, when I see your reaction, even if you are not raising your hand, I will force you to come up here. And then you bring that question that has been bothering you, that made you to be pointing fingers and calling him, you know, a terrorist or a warmonger and what have you. Here you can come and display that anger. And let's hear you ask that question that you really want him to answer. And he will answer that question, especially today that we are standing in support of Israel and Nigeria is ready fighting Israel and fighting the truth. I'm quickly going to give the microphone to Worry Sister. Worry Sister, please, in 60 seconds, bring your question. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but oh, yeah. Oh, give me. Oh, but oh, yeah. Ikuku. Oh, but oh, yeah. Okay, more. I salute you, sir. I love you. I love you. Agbara Bruru. The thunder that destroyed the zoo. Just the name of it. They are destroyed. Thank You're you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Sister. I only have one question. You know, when you started, you you said uh, this uh, the sixty-seven war that they supported both ways, and now you always come out fully to always support them in any way. You are always the first to come out to support them, and I just want to ask now if. On the second of December, the declaration of our Biafra, now the door will be open. Is it possible to ask them to support us with arms? Because you are saying that the only thing we need is arms, that we have the men, and you are willing to give them men. When the time comes for us to ask for more arms, do you think they will be there to help us with arms? Thank you, sir. That is my question. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is not a question I'm going to ask, uh, answer you. Uh, this is a security question, but also I want you to understand that Israel is facing enough enough uh, enough uh, enemy already. So, uh, like I said, I will not uh, address this question because it borders on security. But we are open to welcome any uh, any support, both militarily and otherwise, both from Israel and from anyone. But at this point. Israel is facing a lot of enemies and a lot of trouble already. So we hope that the uh, the threat against Israel is reduced to minimum so that they will be able to look outside their own problem uh, as well. So the, the earlier the, uh, the, 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 the escalation of the problem, the better for everyone that is looking up to Israel. Understand the point? That's why it's very important that that uh, we are offering this particular help, expecting nothing in return. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Worry Sister. Thank you very much for that question. And uh, Fortune, you have been unmuting yourself even without uh, permission. Go ahead now and uh, bring that question that has been bothering you. Fortune Marabo, please. Fortune Marabo, you are not omitting now that you have been given the permission to. All right, quickly, uh, Ugo Chuku Biafra, unmute yourself. Uh, hello. 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 Can you hear me? All right, Ugo Chuku, hold on. Fortune, please go ahead. Yes, really, thank you so much. Um, um, my name is Khalid, Khalid Abdul John. I'm from uh, Bia Sudanese Biafran, and I'm using my brother platform 
today just like to share with you something and also would like to create awareness that you have some brothers and sisters that they have been forgotten behind and this platform i hope in the future will go and bring us all together thank you and what thank you very much uh, go ahead fortunate go ahead fortune and it, and what I would like to say, I'm not fortunate, I, like I said, I'm fortunate, a comrade. I'm using his platform to share with you something. Ah, uh, okay. I'm a student. Your what is your name again? Can you repeat your name so that you are using the platform of a uh, uh, fellow Biafran? But just repeat your name very clearly so we'll get to hear it. Yes, my name is Khalid. K H A L I D. Okay, Khalid. My last, yes, my, my, my last name is John. J O N E. All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the world. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you go be the first. Well, collector, well, let's go down to the news proper as it is hot. You don't share uh, the information will be say it did for my table. We say it gets some more for Biafra. Umwa for Biafra. Umwa for Biafra. Uh, I know why I'm using Umwa for uh, Biafra uh, so that those who will understand uh, will be able to understand uh, who were caught on um, Yana about drug trafficking. Um, the reason why I'm saying it like this is that. Uh, Emma, our uh, people say that uh, uh, on your police, you are go, uh, as soon as I can go, you want to go something like that. Now, meanwhile, let's go down to the full detail uh, of the information. I see they be they say two drug kingpins or a zoke Christian and Abu Prince have been sentenced to life imprisonment by the federal high court in abuja for their years of criminal enterprise of exporting cocaine across continents the director of media and advocacy national drug law enforcement agency femi baba femi announced this in a statement on sunday he stated that Wezoke was initially arrested in 2022 for ingesting cocaine wraps and was later caught again trying to smuggle drugs to India. Meanwhile, Abu was arrested at Abuja Airport for attempting to export cocaine to Hong Kong. The statement partly read, For three years old businessman Wezoke, his journey to a lifetime in jail began when he was first arrested by the NDELA operatives on March 19, 2022, at the Namdi Aziki International Airport, Abuja, during the inward clearance of Ethiopian airline flight from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, after he was found to have ingested 100 big wraps of cocaine weighing 2.240 kilograms. He was subsequently arranged at Federal High Court Abuja Division in, in charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 438 slash 2022 and was granted bail on certain conditions after he pleaded not guilty. He thereafter absconded, leading the court to revoke his bail and issue an arrest warrant against him. Papa Femi added that Uwezoke was arrested again in August 2023 when he attempted to export 1.822 kilograms of cocaine to India after a different, under a different identity, Ilonze Kenesle Onyebuchi at the Motala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. Following his arrest, he was promptly arraigned before Justice Nicholas Onibo of the Federal High Court in Abuja, in Lagos, where he pleaded guilty to the charges. He was convicted and sentenced to seven years' imprisonment or a fine of $1.5 million, which he paid before being transferred to Abuja faced, to face the importation case pending against him. He was rearranged on March 2020-24 at the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court 
in charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 43A slash 2022 before Justice Joy Obweni Abdullah Mike, where he pleaded guilty again despite his plea, the court, noting his lack of remorse, the seriousness of drug related offense, and the fact that he is a repeated offender, convicted and sentenced him to life imprisonment, the statement added. 42 years old Agbo Chike Prince, on the other hand, was arrested at the Nande Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, during the outward clearance of Ethiopian Airlines flight to Hong Kong on October 20, 20, on 21, 2023, for ingesting 49 wraps of cocaine weighing 99.73 grams. Upon his arrangement before Justice Joyce Oheyi Abdullah Like, of the Federal High Court Abuja Division, the defendant pleaded guilty to the one count charge where he was convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment on April 15, 2024. On February, news reported in February that the NDLA chairman, retired Brigadier General Buba Mawa, revealed that at least 15 drug campaigns out of that 3,412 drug offenders that were successfully prosecuted by the anti-narcotics agency and convicted in 2023 collectively back 168 years imprisonment. <laughs> oh, say Tiela, my people. Um, I imagine you know, a person where they give 158 years imprisonment. Uh, <laughs> It means that uh, that person and his ghost, even if his generation, uh, has been uh, sentenced to prison because uh, coming out someone now, it is going to be very hard because I hope to put them since in Nejimu Kwanum for this world, uh, anybody that has lived up to uh, 168 years as it be. Um, when I do, my people, uh, my people, uh umu biafra ekelela munu iya ekelela munu iya ekelela munu iya leno iya nwano iya eh uh, when i say umu wa zukwa yo eh uh, kumu no zukwa no eh mi wa eh why i they bring about this talk we be say a concern umu for biafra on drug related offense and issues is because hmm um as no one no na like if na me if na me what i go something like that uh, as it be for this matter, uh, you know that um, it's not that it is only Umu Biafra that are in this business. But one thing you should know is that uh, whenever these people uh, get in touch with any name that has to do uh, with Biafra or Ndibo, uh, you find that they like to uh, exaggerate the issue, bring it to the media, and make sure that the image of Ndibo, Ndi Biafra, and the person in particular is tarnished. I'm not saying that drug, drug trafficking uh, is a good business, it's a bad one for that matter because that thing destroys the life of people. Uh, even though uh, those who are into legal business, who are using it for drug purposes, and the rest of them, Anastasia, and the rest of them uh, who are legalized by the government, uh, that one is on a different issue. But this one, we say, now he who, and um, it is somehow what is called. Um, black market as it be, but my issue is that oh look what I look and do of your your to buy as it be they say at least forty two people don't buy at Malu landside though they say after much of flooding at Kamuchiri village in Maimachu Kuru County on April 29th, 2024 at least forty bodies we are collected from various places after heavy flash flood wiped out several homes in Kamuchiri village, Maimachu, in Karu County, following heavy rains. They say Naivasha Police Commander Stephen Kirui confirmed they had collected at least 40 body 